Hi, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you this dish called uh, pork ribs with bamboo shoots. It's looking like this. And I'm going to give you a close up look. Hi, this is a close up look of the dish pork ribs with uh, bamboo shoots. So um, you see, it's uh, that's the ribs, uh, pork ribs, and a lot of these pieces, and the bones are easy to come off. Uh, the meat easy to come off. The it's kind of the spare ribs, uh, very easy, nice. And you have the bamboo shoots. This the dry bamboo shoots like this. It's uh, supposed to be very tasty. The the shoots tender, and uh, and also you have the green onion. On the bottom, you will see uh, some of the the onion pieces, and it's just to separate the the meal, the stuff from separate from the heat of the iron bowl. So, um, but it's kind of sauteed, like a halfway half halfway cooked. So uh, you can eat that as well. So it's very simple, and then on the some ingredients you can see those kind of a star, uh, the anus, star anus. So uh, you don't eat them. This crazy taste, and uh, that's pretty much it. And you just separate them when you're eating it. And uh, very very simple, and uh, supposed to be very light the flavor. Okay, okay, let's begin. So spare ribs with bamboo shoots, and I have a bowl of rice and a cup of water. So this one is supposed to be very light and uh, kind of tasty. And uh, okay, hmm. Let me pick a piece. You see the bone is. Very easy to remove. Okay. And this big piece of the bamboo shoot. Hmm. Even when we bought this uh, ingredient, it was super dry. But um, when after it's um, soaked in water for a long time it's really soft and it has the chewy texture not much flavor though on the the shoots this one is a baby bamboo shoot Another one. It's like eating like a bamboo or something. I don't know why people are eating that. And super expensive, this, the dry bamboo shoes. And look at the um, the soft bone. When I guess the average by a, pl um, uh, a plate of this dish, you have a, around a one. This soft bone, the white bone, like you can totally crunch it. No, you can easily bite through. So this is what I call bonus, super bonus. Like the soft bone. I was told it's super good for the to get more calcium when you eat this soft bone, and it's it's not e difficult to understand, I guess. Super crunchy.
This one you see as well, a little bit soft bone as well. I guess I like a super like a, the soft bones a lot because maybe by default the bones you cannot eat bones. When you find the bones you can eat, and it give you the extra pleasure or happiness. So far it's exactly what I expected. It's a light flavor. But it's a good flavor. It's light and um, very easy to uh, to digest to eat. And uh, let me take a bite of uh, the onion on the bottom of the bowl. Yeah, it's half cooked. Spring onion. Always nice, and this another piece without the real bone and then the soft bone and then the whole meat. This is extra bonus. Really nice. If whole plate is full of this, it would be like heaven. Hmm. Oh, it's very light. I feel you don't need a uh, steamed rice to go with it. Just eat it directly. Okay, I'm gonna speed up the eating and explain after I finish it. You see, I finished the the rice, both rice, and um, okay, put it aside, and then the whole uh, bowl of uh, of the ribs, pork ribs with um, uh, bamboo shoots. See a little bit broth left, and uh, nothing more than that, and also uh, some bones. You see how clean the bones it's very easy to come off so and a lot of meat to be honest even the whole portion is not big but uh, a lot of meat only a little bit bones okay so this one is um, pretty uh, really really mild and uh, just a little bit greasy a little bit fatty I guess the, the little bit oil pushed out from the um, the pork ribs and it's very acceptable to a lot of people I, I believe not not surprising uh, flavor so uh, it's a really nice one and also um, the reason we add this one is uh, is we have another spare ribs that's how um sweet and sour spare ribs that one uh, has a little bit uh, strong flavor of the soy sauce and the uh, salty side and a sweet it's kind of a even not spicy at all that one but it's kind of a little bit strong flavor so full of flavor so a little bit too much for some folks 
then we create this one very light version and uh, it's very very uh, it became more popular than what I thought I for me at the beginning when we were deciding if we need to add this one I was against it because I thought it's necessary it's not necessary so uh, the sweet and sour pork ribs was enough for me to my opinion so that one was full of flavor and uh, good already and this one you know give people more choice and so I say okay let's let's get along so um, it turned out a lot of folks like this one as well and um, people may complain that bamboo shoots is very little of them not so many bamboo shoots inside but uh, as I always said uh, because the dry bamboo shoots we bought they are very very expensive uh, that to be honest I uh, said that in the comments area and also I'm gonna say it in the video as well so that's the main reason we, we it's not we're not stacking up the the whole plate with the with a lot of bamboo shoots and uh, even the bamboo shoots they don't taste like much it's kind of a very very bland but maybe people I don't know. Uh, I even don't know how the bamboo shoot, the flavor, is gonna help this for this um, uh, the strips as well. I don't know how do they uh, chemical reaction, whatever things like uh, they can help the overall flavor of this uh, uh, lighter version of the pork ribs. So just let you guys know, and uh, you know it's. Uh, it's easy and uh, we yeah myself I don't want to oversell things and if you like it you like it if you don't like it you don't like it and uh, and uh, I'm always trying to improve but I I feel I need to tell you the like uh, things I know I don't want to you know pretend something we're not and uh, as a small restaurant and uh, we are uh, we try to improve and uh, actually we keep improving but uh, we are not that good and we're not that perfect and uh, I give us a lot of room to improve and also um, I um, I always fasten I as I said before I always uh, uh, learn English and French I learn English by reading uh, listening to a lot of the radio and also uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos and um, I came across a lot of um, uh, opinions, especially at the beginning I was listening to a lot of CBC and then I changed it to CJD on the iHeart Radio. There's an app, <coughs> pretty decent, pretty nice. And uh, I see a lot of uh, hosts or the opinion opinions uh, by the hosts. Uh, I don't want to say some of their names, but a lot of them uh, some of them like uh, they kind of try to sell the ideas of opinion like uh, looks like um, some really strong opinion and uh, some of them like uh, they don't have basic logic because I have background I as a IT engineering uh, IT engineer so uh, I always think like uh, the things they say on the radio on the TV uh, it's beyond uh, reasonable I don't know why they were a lot of yeah, sometimes a lot of uh, audience were following or falling for their kind of a uh, lot of sometimes even like a propaganda or like some strong narrow-minded uh, opinions they, they were they don't even the folks they are uh, they can make their way to that position as a host on a major radio or TV they are very smart they are the hundred percent, hundred percent, like they are smarter than like average people, I guess. But the the reasoning behind they they tell their story, the their version, their angle, it's kind of a just could not understand because I watch so many, I listen to so many of them. It's they're smart people, but they want to give you the uh, audience there to kind of change your. Uh, a view on someone something and it looks like a, a propaganda it's very very interesting so that's like um, gave me a lot of thinking that's why we always like I always like when I shoot the video or something I always like uh, from the beginning to end I don't cut don't edit and just add a little bit just fast forward like eight times of the eating part 
and I want to give people the full story. It's like a full thing, the real thing, you know. I think all this media, a lot of people they should do the same thing. To be honest, they 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 should tell what they think. At least the thinking process. They don't. They should not、uh, kind of do those prop kind of thing. Prop kind of. It's it's. They have the public resources, the the radio frequency they occupy. That's public resource, and then even CBC is with is funded by、uh, public money, tax payers money, and、uh, sometimes I don't know why, but、uh, it's really interesting phenomena、uh, because I, I always reason、um, like. Uh, Uh, it's very simple process.、Uh, critical thinking or independent thinking or the real thinking. The audience it always、uh, you think about、uh, when thing come out comes out. You the angle to see it always like、uh, for example, there's a methodology. It's a kind of、uh, I call it IPO,、uh, like a, like a stock market, like an IPO. It's I for input. And P for process and O for outcome. So input, process, output. So simple like that. And uh, like uh, when you have the input, you need to get the information, relative information from all angles, all spectrum, like、uh, left, middle, right. And you need to read all of them. Like、uh, then with those kind of、um, information input, and then you process it with your logic. Either you're smart, or you're very smart, or not so smart, or whatever. And you have your own、uh, processing, your logical process, and then you come out with the output. Then you have a conclusion, you have an opinion. That's that's the whole process. But if you have the wrong input, doesn't matter how good your logic is, your outcome output most most probably would be wrong because you have the wrong input. How can you get a right output? So. That's why, like,、uh, you always look at the different、uh, sources of the information, everything. So it's a,、uh, it's kind of a, yeah, it's kind of a, the thing, the process. Also, when you kind of accuse、um, something or some news, seeing the report, always think about the motivation,、uh, the motivation,、uh, motivation, and what is the profit, who is benefiting. Benefiting whom, and that's the. It's like when you solve a crime, like who's benefiting it, who's、uh, benefit most, what is the motive behind? Ask、uh, why, you know. When you ask why, a lot of things much more clear. I, I don't know why a lot of people are just falling for those kind of、uh, stuff. Like、uh, I, I think a lot of journalists,、uh, the reporters, or the、uh, the host analysts, they should. Should be very、um, straightforward instead of、uh, selling stories, selling the ideas. That's little little bit trouble troublesome, troubling me recently.、Uh, Sometime, it's just like、uh, people like、uh, blindly trust them. Like、uh, instead of thinking uh, uh, critically, thinking by themselves, always ask why. Why do they do that? If you you claim somebody is something, but ask why, you know. What is the motivation? What do they benefit? And、uh, also, like、uh, the IPO thinking, input, process, and out output. So、uh, again, I'm oh,、uh, kind of I'm off topic again. So that's my actually that's my problem.、Uh, when I talk to people with on different things, and they always say, "Oh, you jump on different topics." That's what I, exactly what I did this time. But Again, so I'm not going to cut this out and、uh, let the thinking fly. You know, it's、uh, I don't know. It's me. Like a lot of time, it's off topic. What I say, what I think is off topic. So、uh, anyway, back to this、um, this uh, plate. <clears throat> I hope like、uh, you would enjoy it, and、uh, hope like this video give you enough information to.、Um, Order this dish or not? Anyway, it's a special tool, a special uh, uh, what is the a bowl like iron bowl or the iron plate?、Uh, that means like this one good for eating when it's really hot, and uh, this one uh, iron bowl gonna be heated in the kitchen when 
the thing is served inside. So th this means like it's not very good for takeout. So uh, keep in mind if uh, if the dining version has those kind of special uh, container. So that means that's a good signal of like uh, saying like uh, this is not very good for takeout. And just keep that in mind. And uh, I hope like. Uh, the whole uh, pandemic will be over soon, so people can come in, uh, eat inside, and I can meet you guys in person, and uh, we can have a lot of discussions on a lot of topics, and uh, that would be fun. And thank you very much for watching.